so let me start with creating a new job and i'll say populate product name okay so these are my three components two are input uh, supplier information dift product list and my target is dift product dimension if you remember we have uh, registered this first we have to ensure all these two inputs and the output is present in the metadata let's check dift supplier information is here even if it is not in your system you know how to register it it's a csv file that you need to register by using new and external file okay then there is a the product list it is a sas data set let me check whether it is present uh product list let's check its property physical storage source library where the source library is is present or an star or detail somewhere here product list should be present this is where and if you know the physical data set you can register it in your uh, di metadata now what's about product dimension product dimension is nothing but the columns which are coming from these two table let me in my ppt last time if you remember we have registered product dimension this is a, a product dimension which was using four columns from the product list and three columns from uh, from suppliers and there were few columns which i have added from myself and created product index and product id and product row so this is the same table there is a list of column okay there some columns miss sorry this is not product dimension this is product dimension will be this columns it looks okay so i will start uh, pulling the component so my first is dift supplier information i will pull this information then i need a transformation that will read file reader uh, in this section i will uh, give some time most of the transformation lies under data that we use and there are few that is lies in access so you mainly focus on the data and the access part file uh, reader lies in the access so i write pull here pull it here then i need another table product list that i pull it here maybe somewhere here and then i need sql join okay then i need my target table product dimension let's go back and check the diagram again the ift file reader sql join dift product list dift product dimension so are we okay with this diagram now before we start a job we needed all the metadata source and the target to be ready yes is that right yes correct okay. uh, at uh, at least your da input data should be ready oh, okay and maybe you can create output data while creating the job but oh, i say but input is really must 
otherwise you will we will not able to start our job but the best mm. but the ideal is you should have input and output everything ready then you see how quickly the things will will do, will be done now okay. i will start joining the arrows so i have joined supplier information to file reader and you see this became uh, error to tick mark green tick mark we say this the step is complete if i go to sql it says no source are defined connect data source to this so it's giving an error with the following list of information we need to connect it then i just join this to sql join and then i join join this one okay now see this is also is green when i come here and this see this this see this is a sql join its output is this one the green table okay this is an output table this green one is output table but i need to replace this green table with my dift product dimension did you get this oh, okay uh maybe, why uh, yeah, come again so uh, so i have a question why some of the transformation some of the transformation have a uh, work table others not no uh, for example your file read and the sql join has uh, have a work table but others don't have a work table even file reader has a work table this is a work table the green one uh, oh. can we remove the work table no we don't with this no because once the supplier information is read we need to store that information in a work table let me show you in a different way then you will be clear i will close the job i have i hope i have saved this job i will close so this of the transformation at the end they produce the work table e uh not necessarily uh, for, for example if i go uh, in today's session i will i am going to use summary transformation okay which okay. mainly which sure. mainly works on proc means which produces a, a report hmm. if a transformation is producing output is a table then a work table is will come as default if transformation is only producing the report then the work table will not come Oh, okay. Let me really cool. see. There's an option to expand. See this. This is an option. Notes. I it was collapsed. I will make it expand and say okay. Didn't came. Uh, let me check again. If I bring another transformation here. let me rebuild again okay so what i was doing is i was using file reader now this time you see i have expanded it and it will be more clear to you what is happening now and it will it will make sense as well why we are deleting a table and why what we want to have if you see this i have expanded everything before joining it you can see file reader is reader is creating an output table this is this one file reader sql is also creating an output table correct now if i join this if i start joining this if i start joining this now sql is already creating output but what we need is product dimension so i need to replace sql with this one Now you got this so point. So this transformation actually it's two steps. One, for example, the SQL join. One is a join, another is produces a work table. Yes. So you we we cannot like remove that. These yeah. are together. So we can remove this SQL uh, this work table if we want. Okay, but not the file reader. So I've removed this. I've just the delete i have kept my pointer ah. here and press delete button ah. on my keyboard or if i to be make it visible i will say delete 
Okay. Delete it. Can you move to the to the file reader? Yes. See so if if you can let remove. Delete. Yeah. It will be deleted. Then I need okay. to provide. Now, now I need to provide some table here. Oh, okay. So you have to load. So file reader is you have to load to the work table first. Yes. Right. See. See. Try to understand. Let's see this. Suppose if if you are reading a, uh, a file, hmm. then what will be your output? Uh, some data set will be an output. Okay. Either it will be a work table, temporary work table, or it should be a permanent uh, permanent table. Okay. By default, each transformation is coming with a work table. Otherwise, you need to provide the permanent table. 